Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about one problem what a developer is facing in the real time example, and I'm going to give you some solutions for that. So the problem statement says that let's say you are working in a company and they are still using Java either five or six or seven in the project, and they are not ready to move to Java eight quickly, meaning they are still working on to move from Java prior to eight to Java eight or more than eight, but they are expecting you guys to uh, provide the features of however java 1.8 the new date and time api is actually offering right so somehow the client get to know that like java 1.8 is offering a lot of features let's say new date and time api and other features right but uh, they want to achieve the same thing in the same project in the existing project without touching the code but they want to achieve it and how you guys can help them out to achieve it problem statement right so the answer for that is there are two solutions you can offer one is you can use joda time artifact basically in your let's say you are using like spring boot application or any uh, web application in your palm.xml file or you can use gradle right so in the dependencies you can use this uh, particular joda time basically this is what actually java 1.8 also uh, added to their package and that is how it was actually uh, java 1.8 is having this feature so you can add this Joda time artifact uh, explicitly or uh, separately to your uh, Java uh, Spring Boot application project, or you can use 310 project. So both will uh, propose the same thing, like both are having the same features. Basically, whatever the features of date and time uh, we have seen so far in Java 1.8, actually it was developed by Joda.org, and that Joda.org, whatever they have developed, these guys Oracle developers or Oracle team actually bought that one and they implemented in Java 1.8. And that is how this actual Java 1.8 is actually having more powerful than the previous versions of Java. And if you guys can either use this one in the dependency or you can use this dependency in your project, in the palm.xml file, you can add it so that like you can still use the same, you know, java.time uh, package can be imported and you can still use it. So this dependency is nothing but like you can, it will be downloaded from the, you know, central repository of Maven and you can simply use it. And I thought like I want to tell you guys like if you guys really struggle, in terms of dealing with a lot of time and date APIs, uh, but you are not in Java 8 and you still want to achieve this. I hope you guys this. Uh, I hope this video will help you guys to uh, use these solutions, either of this one or two, and then you can achieve the same thing. So that your clients will be happy without going to Java 1.8, they can still able to achieve whatever the new date and time API, API features are offering by Java. I hope you guys uh, this will be helpful for you guys. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.